Hi, my name is Valentin. I am a clinical scientist from Canon Medical Systems. MRI is complex, but simple explanations behind the latest MRI methods are always good to know. Today, let's talk about arterial spin labeling for two minutes. Arterial spin labeling, or ICL for short, are methods allowing quantitative imaging of blood flow perfusion of an organ without the use of external contrast agents. To do so, two images are needed. A label image is performed using a labeling plane placed perpendicularly to arteries. The blood molecules crossing the labeling plane have their magnetization inverted by the use of saturation pulses. A post-labeling delay is then applied to allow the perfusion of the tagged blood through tissues. Imaging readout is finally performed in the desired volume to image the tagged blood in addition to static tissues. In a second step, a control image is performed in the same conditions but without labeling the blood, thus providing images of only the static tissues. The subtraction between the label and the control images leaves only the signal of the blood coming from arteries and delivered to tissues. Combined with a proton density weighted image and several parameters such as labeling efficiency, labeling duration, blood T1, a mathematical model is applied to generate cerebral blood flow maps or CBF. There are several families of ISL methods based on how the blood labeling is performed. Historically, the labeling was done using a single and short pulse to invert instantaneously a large volume of molecules. A more recent technique, called pseudo-continuous ICL or PCASL, uses a train of very short pulses to label the blood over a long period of time. The PCASL technique results in a higher SNR allowing high-resolution imaging with scan time more compatible with clinical practice. If you want more information about PCASL and the other ISL methods, click on the link and download the attached Good to Know document. You will find additional information, answers to some questions from the field, user tricks, and best practices. And if you like this video, hit subscribe to stay tuned for more simple explanations that are good to know. <laughs>